All right, guys, great again. I'm going to do an analysis on beets. Um, it's actually a difficult coin to, to do an analysis on right now because the uh, limited amount of data that you have, but you can get something out of it to uh, maybe project where this coin is going to go. Also, I'll let you guys know that uh, I do have a little bit in, uh, in beets. And not because I bought any beets, it's because I'm yield, I yielded, yielded the beets and I got it for free, basically. So I'm in some uh, farms on beets, just to let you guys know. And I think it's a really good ecosystem. I'm still long term. I am very bullish on the Phantom ecosystem. Um, I just think Phantom and the uh, a lot of those coins on the ecosystem just have to get through this correction, and then it's uh, it's time to move on and put smile uh, put smiles on our faces, right, guys? So in the meantime, just have to be a little bit more patient. But I'm extremely bullish on that whole ecosystem, and I'm I'm you know. I like beats. I, I do like it. I've been playing with it. It's a cool, cool, uh, um, cool uh, system they got going on there. So anyhow, let's check. This is the only data that I have. Um, or maybe the coin came out like last year around October. Um, and then we have some divergence right there. So that was probably the third wave with the maximum amount of momentum. And I had to go on Coin Trader Pro to find all this data. So I'm going to say you're looking at a one, two, one, two, three, four, an extended fifth, it looks like. And it came down to, um, let me change the settings on that. Minuet, not minuet, minute, not minute. Which one do I usually, sub-minuet, there we go, I'll use that. Th those aren't correct. I just like to use it because it's smaller. It looks better. So we know because of divergence, this down here is a five wave impulse down that it did. So it started off at about $1.40 and it came down to 14 cents. And if you picked it up down there and you got into it, that was a really good deal because now you, uh, you rode it up to $1.36 potentially. So now the next thing is, what is this move? And this looks like a lot of momentum. So likely that's a third wave and that's the fourth. So you got some divergence. So I'm going to say a one, two, uh, isn't, yeah. Hmm. No, I'm going to say it's probably an extended third like that. Extended third wave went up, completed the uh, fourth. I like to see the highest peak on the RSI is the third wave. So it's probably an extended third of some sort like that. So we have a five wave impulse down and now a five wave impulse up, which could be a sign of some sort of reversal in trend. Um, now we have a move down. So from there to there, so definitely change on the RSI. So likely going to call that an A, B, C. Let me go back to Minuet. Yeah, there we go. Some little smaller. So a third, three wave down. So we potentially, this coin could be going bullish. And now we have a potential. Okay. We got our third wave there. So we have another five wave move, a one, two, and a one, two, three. No, one, two. Yeah, okay, one, two, and then in here it did something, three, four, five. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So one, two, no, that, 
that don't have to count the wicks. One, two, three, four, five, and then four or five. Okay. So there is what looks like to some people would be a bullish move. But now that you know this is a five, three, five, um, if this if this is a bullish move, then this is a lower degree uh, wave one. So this would be a primary, say a primary degree wave one, two, um, one up here, two like this. You go you go to a higher degree if you want to go bullish one, two, and then that would be up there like that, and then this would be a one and then it came down for a two and then this would be a lower degree so that would be a very bullish count like that so but you you want to be cautious that this is not a big a b c where this is five and now you did a, a nice uh ABC. So then you could be in this move. A, a one, two, three for your B, and now it's it's down for C. That's what you that's what you want to uh, find out. So that would that right there, in my opinion, is going to be probably. A, uh, a primary count. It's all going to depend on what Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to do. Primarily, Bitcoin and the other markets. Is the dollar going to keep going up, for example, or is it going to start plummeting and going down? So that's going to make a difference for a coin like this. Um, so take this count off for uh, for beats. So it looks like possibly that this was, let me go down to the um, four hour chart. We have to see what this move was. This is gonna determine Yeah, there's no divergence on the uh, on the four hour, so more than likely, more than likely, this is going to be some sort of uh, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then shoot. So let me see this here one. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So your third. That wouldn't be a third. That wouldn't. That's not going to be right because I want to see the divergence all the way down there. So that's the lowest point on the divergence. So that's actually a good sign for this coin that uh, there's no divergence there. So more than likely, this was some sort of uh, third wave. There's your divergence right there. So that was your five wave move right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's a five up for a B maybe. And then this Yeah, so I'd have to label this like some sort of three wave move, maybe. Um, came to here. So that's actually a good sign for this coin. Something like that. It came down in a three wave because there's just no divergence there. And if this, let me go to Fib retracement on this move. Sure, I have it on. Um, yeah, I got on log. So it came well past 
the 0.786. Let me change that uh, visibility style. I'm trying to find the, uh, I went on the other side. Can't find it right now. Oh, here we go to the right. All right, okay. Now, three, four, five, A, B, C. It came well, it had a deep correction just past the 0 0.786, so yeah. This could be good news for this coin. And what is the move here? Okay, that's not good. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then no divergence there. And it's making divergence. So that's not good for this coin. So yeah, I'm gonna have to change uh, the count. You know, this is, this is more like a uh, three-wave move out of here, too. A, B, C of some sort. And this move, let me check this move on another chart. I think I can, let me check over here. Okay, here's, um, let me make sure this move on the four hour. Okay, see, I got, I have different results on this chart, you guys can see. So that's a third wave, fourth wave down that way. So let me go back. This is a five wave move down. Um, so this is a five wave move down. Of some sort, one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. And it's doing an ABC move up. Okay. So with this coin, um, let's see. So five, yeah, A, B. Yeah, guys, I would have to say with beats, it is looking like you're in an A. A one, two, three, a B, and down for a C. Okay. I did that. Uh, your A is over here. Started over here. This is your A leg. This is your B, and you're coming down for a C. Okay, let me go back to the other chart on uh, TradingView to check. I'm going into this area right here on TradingView because the RSA. RSI data is, is a little bit different. And that's this area right here. And you can see this is a five wave impulse down, guys. So here's your one, two, um, there's your lowest peak, your three, four, five. And this move, yeah, it's just slowing, it's just slowing up where it's a, a three-wave move. And if this is not an ABC, so if I go back over, over to this chart, and this is a, a, a one, two to make a C leg like this. One, two, three, four, five. Let me take that off. And I can give you some targets, possibly. Um, let me go to uh, Fib Extension. Conservative. Let's just say it stop ends right there. So it hits right there. 14 cents will come up on a probably up pretty high. For a coin like this, this fourth wave could come up. It could come all the way up there. So it's kind of up there. And then 
um, another fib extension. I'm going to do the third wave. Say the fourth comes up there. So, yeah. Um, 12 cents, possibly. If this move a, a, a 5 3 5. So, I'm going to take this off of here right now. So, this is a three wave move. So, I'm going to delete that. I know that's five. Uh, so, you guys can see a cleaner chart. So, I know this is a five, three, five. Uh, five so, that's a three wave move. And take that off and I know that's an ABC most likely so this is a five I know that's a five down and right now with just limited data that I have at, at a a one two three for your B and now down for the C and I'll probably be pretty choppy for a coin like this um, and this could be pretty choppy or something like that. So it could go uh, potentially reach 12 cents. It's also going to matter, guys, if it's what's going to happen with Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes up, then, you know, all this could change to a, a one, two, and then it's off to the races. So it's just going to matter what Bitcoin's going to do. All right, guys, that's my analysis of uh, Beats. And thanks for watching. Peace.